Alrighty. Starting off on town and city. This is a pretty large stage. I say this is good for both characters. Right, both are playing neutral right now, trying to get find a way in. It looks like Trenko's gonna fur and get first blood, but Mithra with the foresight to interrupt. That's the thing about Pikachu. I mean, as good as his uh, moves are, a lot of his multi hits are subject to um, Mithra's foresight. So that's one thing Mithra has going for her in this matchup. But I think Pikachu definitely has the size and the um, frame data advantage just slightly in this matchup. I, I don't know. The big thing is that um, Pyre, like Pikachu can easily p combo Pyre and Mithra off stage which are where they're at their weakest because most of us know Pyre and Mithra have not really good recoveries. But this is pretty even so far. Let's see what Ice is going to do. Punches the down smash right there. Goes for a pretty... Um, um, big forward smash right there. I like the attempt, but unfortunately Pikachu was just too high for that to hit. Oh, that forward air just missed. I would have gone for another there personally, just covered my options. Air dodges the forward smash right there. Shields the get up attack. Okay, grabs the Pikachu was going for an up smash right there. That would have I don't know if that would have killed Mithra, but that F smash Barely kills Mithra. Pachenko is up the f on the first stop. As you can see, um, oh, I spoke too soon. I was just going to say Ice has not switched the Pyra yet, but he just does. Unfortunately, this makes things a lot harder for him in neutral. Although Pyra does hit like a truck, so he's just basically one hit away from getting the stock. I don't agree playing neutral with Pyra in this matchup, though. But he does get the forward air, drop, catches Trenko dropping his shield. And we are at an even game. Alright, Ice Gus get, does get back on. Trying to find a way in through all these T-Jolts. Gets a little combo there. Alright, very nice. Keeping Pikachu in disadvantage as best you can is key to this matchup. It's very hard because Pikachu has one of the best disadvantage states in the game. Oh, he goes for another big S smash, but he's not going to get it. He's looking to end this quickly. Oh my god. He's fishing for these F smashes, man. Alright, finally connects one. Unfortunately, it's in the wrong direction. He's going to switch the Pyre here. Trying to keep Pikachu off stage as best he can. Oh, goes for the edge guard. Nice tech. Both players recover. Good shielding the F smash right there. That would have been a, that probably would have been death. And Ice is trying to find a way in his pyre. Very difficult to do, but he is going to get clipped by the F smash. And Trenko is once again up a stock. And here comes oh, um, I don't know if that was a misclick or not because um, maybe he was just mashing to get out. I wouldn't have gone for Chronos Revolt. Interesting option. Back air will seal the deal right there. Nice is trying to find a way off this platform. He can't do it. Voids the thunder. All right, here we go. We got to grab. Does not get the forward air, though. Misreads his DI. Oh, the T-Jolt. Gets back on stage thanks to Chroma Dust knocking Pikachu away. And he can't just get... He just can't get back to the ground. Finally does. Oh, there's a bad spot. That would have finished uh, Mithra off right there, but thankfully Ice avoids it. Grabs the dash attack. Gets a ray of punishment right there. Oh, gets clipped by the quick attack. Oh, gets clipped by the T-Jolt. That's going to lead into a grab. Avoids the thunder. This has got a bit of work to do if she wants to come back, but her back is turned. King Shield grab that dash attack. Good avoiding that. Dash attack will definitely kill at this percent. So Ice has to watch out for it. Gets clipped by the fair off stage. Goes for the side B. Not a good option. And Trenko's going to take game number one. That side B wouldn't have been too bad of an option if he was aiming for the ledge. But unfortunately, he does get a little greedy. Tries to go for it and do the mix-up on stage. Unfortunately, if you're far away from that, you could see that coming. It's tough to react to, but... um. If you're far enough away and you see it and you see it about to come out or just see it in motion, you can just shield it and just an easy up smash.
If you do get hit by it though, it does a lot of damage. It does over. It does if it if it does all the hits, it does over twenty percent. All right. I did not see which stage they were going to this time, but let's see where Ice is going to go for game two. Um, and it looks like we're going to PS2 for game number two. Much more neutral stage, I'd say. All right, good start for Trenko right now. 27% off that neutral win, but he does get Forsay right there. Not, Mithra's not going to get anything off of that, though. Goes for the dash attack. I like that. Unfortunately, Trenko was ready to jump away. He did see that coming. All right, there we go. Trenko finally loses neutral to ice in that in that uh, interaction right there. Down here is the dash attack. Good grab. Goes for a ray of punishment. Interesting option. Very nice combo. Going for pirate at 65%. I'm a little bit surprised. I don't know if down air um, us smash would kill. It probably would on Pikachu at that percent. But needless to say, he does switch back into Mithra. Good recognizing that he can't shield grab that, as he did cross up the shield. S smash not gonna take it. <coughs> Waits the thunder. All right, good wait, good wait by Ice right there, and he's gonna get the stock right there. Ice has his first lead of the set right now. Goes for another down throw to Ray of Punishment. This time it connects. I believe that is a true combo as well. Oh, here we go. Mizzler's down tilt, honestly, is a really good tool in this matchup. It just catches so much approaches. It just comes out so fast. I don't know the frame data exactly, but it's a very fast move and it catches a lot of people. If your opponent's just approaching a lot, just throw out down tilt. Just run up down tilt. Oh, he goes for the down tilt there. Honestly, I think he should have shield grabbed that um, dash attack right there. But the dash attack will get him that time. And uh, Ice only got 43% of extra credit on that stock, so this is pretty much an even game. Ice is not punishing these T jolts. There's a th there's a foresight, but he does no punish on it. I think he's trying to foresight the forward air or trying to see whether Ash is coming out. And both players SD! Alright, very inter interesting um, exchange right there. Suddenly both players are on the last stop. Oh, that was a bit of a bad approach right there from Ice. Surprise, he's trying to... I, if I had some advice for Ice right here, I would try to um, Foresight some of the T-Jolt, especially when you're that close. Foresight will activate if um, you're within half of Final Destination's length from the character if when the projectile hits. So... If he catches Trenko just spamming T jolts, just run and just run in foresight. You can see if you can find, you can probably punish the T jolts a lot more easily. But he is gonna get that spike right there, and Trenko is gonna steal game number two. And Ice is on his. Um, I'm not, I think this is winners. I'm pretty sure this is. Um, so we're going to game number three. Trenko taking a bit of a deep breath. Says, "Okay, that was a little bit close with that double SD." When that happens, you gotta recover. Those his controller a little bit, just saying, nah, I'm still on top. And when, uh, are we getting a character switch? I think we are. <clears throat> Looks like Ice, yes, Ice is switching the Joker. I think this is a better matchup for, um, against Pikachu. Um, you just have more consistent frame data. And plus you have Arsene. Um, alright, so game three, we're running it back to PS2. Let's see how the Joker does in this matchup. Like um, Ice is playing a little bit more campy this time around so far. All right, he does punch that back air. Doesn't really get too well. He gets. He's getting some good combos. Good 45%. He hasn't taken a hit so far. Really good first start. It's still early though. All right, just like that. Just like that. The back air to up air to another back air. He does catch the recovery with the uh, with the back air again. Another back air. Oh, this is a bad stop for Joker, and he dies for that. Excellent edge guard from Trenko. Incredible stuff. And less like that, Ice is already down at stop. We're not even a minute in. That's got to be a bit of a. That's got to be a bit of a uh, um, a crusher for for um, Ice right there. After getting such uh, uh, so much percent off that first stock, only to just get edge guard and just to lose one neutral interaction at the ledge and then die for it. That's Pikachu. Hey, I think everyone hates him. I hate him too. 
And, uh, and Trenko is waiting out those bullets right there. Ice is dangerously close to... La oh my god, Trenko, why did you do that? You hate to see it happen, but it happens all the time. Just runs in, tries to punish the, the charge down smash, gets punished for it. Just like that, Ice is back in the lead, and I think that um, shifted some momentum in his favor right there. Smash is a game of emotions right now, ladies and gentlemen. It may not seem like it, but it is. So I think he did get a little bit of confidence back from Trenko running into that down smash. Unfortunately, he is still down in percent by quite a lot. And Arsene is about half, the Ar his Arsene gauge is about halfway full. Dash attack not going to take it. Good back here to get back onto the stage. Both players fighting for neutral right now. Pikachu air dodge off, uh, air dodge is off stage. Strange it. Good neutral to stop the approach. Good pivot grab. Excellent um, ledge read. Good S smash. Not going to take it though. That is not an Arsene S smash. But the percents are much more even now. Arsene is almost online. Down, avoids the down smash. The Arsene is out. Aegon is going to kill off the side of the stage. And Ice is back in the lead. 125% though. So Trenko is um, one strong attack away from taking the stock and getting rid of Arsene. But of course, he has had to deal with Arsene right now. And Arsene can get pretty dangerous, even at low percent. Just like that, 42% and climbing. That there's not going to hit. Ooh. This is getting very dangerous, although Arsene is now offline. Now Ice is playing really defensively right now, trying to stay alive as long as he can. Good DI on the dash attack, but unfortunately it's not enough. And now Ice on his winner's side stock right now. He is up 80%. This is still anyone's game, however. Here comes the back air, so two. Doesn't get a third. And he gets caught in bullet hell right there. 88% on Pikachu, but here comes a combo. Joker is taking a lot of damage, but Arsene is about to come online. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Arsene is online. He is off stage with dash attack. And tries to punch the recovery. Joker's uh, recovery with Arsene. Surprisingly tricky to, to edge guard. It does have a little bit of invincibility on startup. But I'm pretty sure that it was a little bit past. It's just that Pikachu's attacks missed. All right, off stage. Arsene's about to go offline, and he gets caught by the lingering hit of Smash Attack. Tranko 3 0s Ice. Good attempt by Ice Way switching to the Joker, but unfortunately, it is not enough. Tranko is going to advance to Winner's Finals. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be hopping on stream next, I believe, so I'll see you guys later. Booyah, baby.